Sitka is one of the biggest high performance hunting gear brands out there and today I've got five reasons why you shouldn't buy it. Hey, George here with the New Hunter's Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Guys, today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Sitka gear. Sitka is one of the biggest, most popular, most expensive, high performance hunting gear brands that ever was. And today I wanna to talk to you about why you should not be buying it. Now, first and foremost, I am not a Sitka hater. I am just a realist. I have accumulated a few pieces of Sitka gear over the years and I've talked about some and I may review some in the future, but the bottom line is things have gone off the rails in our industry and I wanna speak about that today. Number one reason why you should not buy Sitka gear is if you are a new hunter. Guys, it doesn't make any sense. You're brand new to the sport, maybe you've never never gone afield before, or you've been out one or two times, you could easily go out and buy a coat and bibs and gloves and a hat and all the other base layers and things and spend $2,000 in the blink of an eye on a set of Sitka gear. And you have never gone afield. You should probably be spending tens of dollars instead of thousands of dollars on gear. You need to get out there. You've got to go into the woods and hunt. And first First and foremost, see, do you like this? Do you want to do more of this? Is this something that you want to invest in? And then, over time, once you've decided this is something you want to do, you begin also to learn what pieces of gear would be helpful for you. Sitka makes like a dozen jackets. How would you know which one you should buy and which one would be best for you and your hunting style, which doesn't exist, and the places you hunt, which you have never hunted in before, and the weather conditions that you hunt in, which again, you have never faced. There's no way for you to know and make an educated decision or investment until you have some experience. You need to hunt first before you double down and throw all kinds of money into Sitka gear. Now you're probably familiar with the stereotype. It's basically a meme at this point. You've got the new hunter who has no idea what they're doing, no experience. Even worse, they're out there messing up other people's hunts, but they're decked out from head to toe in thousands of dollars of Sitka gear. Just this walking pile of money that can't hunt for anything. Well, that's a problem. But at the same time, that's something we ought to be able to do something about. You need to hunt first, even no matter how much money you may have. If you don't know if this is something you're going to use or if something that you might be good at or something you're going to pursue, there is no reason to pour that kind of money into it. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that stereotype in a moment. Number two reason that you shouldn't buy Sitka gear. You need everything. Okay, maybe you're a brand new hunter, but maybe you're just changing pursuits. Maybe you've hunted deer for 15 years and now you're going to try waterfowl hunting or vice versa or any combination of you've done something and now you're going to try something else, but you need everything. Guys, this gear is expensive. To go out and just buy everything all at once, even if you are pretty, pretty well to do, is still ridiculous. Start somewhere. Wear. I recommend you get a full suit of gear that is the, the most moderately priced or inexpensive gear you can get. Get into the woods, get experience. Figure out what you want and what you need and what works good for you and then upgrade things a piece at a time, whether it's Sitka gear or somebody else. Get into the woods first and you need to do this over time. Number three reason that you should not buy Sitka gear. If you are on a very tight hunting budget, maybe you've got $100 a year for your entire hunting budget, you should probably not be buying Sitka gear. I mean, think about it. Say you wanted to buy a Fanatic jacket. All right, those cost $480 or so, plus or minus, depending on where you are. Well, then you'd have to save up five hunting seasons worth of budget to buy one jacket. Guys, at that pace, your gear is going to wear out and need replaced faster than you can replace it. It's just not practical. You are not in the 
right season of life to be investing that kind of money into gear. Now people say, well, George, you know, buy once, cry once. Well, yeah, a marketer came up with that. You can be sure. But the idea there is, well, if you spend what you need to spend, you can get good gear that'll last you for life and you'll save money in the long run. First of all, this gear ought to last a while, but guys, nothing lasts forever. Sitka gear and all the other super high performance hunting gear out there, it is made out of cloth, fabric, and thread. All right, we're gonna wear it out, beat it. It is eventually gonna come apart, tear, wear through. Nothing lasts forever. You can wear out the best Sitka gear on the planet just like you can wear out hunting gear from Walmart, okay? Nothing lasts forever. Now, you ought to get some use out of it. You ought to get a few seasons. Maybe you can get 10, 15, 20 seasons out of some pieces of gear if you baby it, you hunt easy, you're very careful with it, you do everything you're supposed to do. Maybe some things can last that long, but let's just be realistic, guys. This stuff is going to wear out. And if you can only buy one piece every five years, you're going to go through it faster than you can replace it. You are just not in the right season of life to be investing that much money in hunting gear. Maybe in the future, you'll be in a different spot. I have been there, guys. I've been through seasons of life where for months at a time, didn't have enough money to go out and buy a pizza. I mean, things were so tight. The hunting gear budget was zero dollars, okay? Not one dollar. Couldn't go out and get burgers. Couldn't get fast food. I mean, so tight, that's just the way it was. But thank God he brought us through it, brought us into a better season. I'm able to hunt and do some of the things that I'm able to do now. That same thing can happen to you. You can come out, you can come up, you can get ahead. And a few years down the road, you might find yourself in a position where, okay, you might be able to pursue a couple pieces of gear if that's really high on your priority list. But if you're not there, you're not there. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Don't put stuff on your credit card that you don't know how you're going to pay off or how many years it might take to pay off that pair of hunting pants. It's not worth it. Get the cheapest, most inexpensive quality gear you can find. And where do you go? How do you find stuff like that? Well, guys, if I was trying to outfit myself with the most affordable hunting gear possible, I would go places like Rural King, Sam's Club, maybe Ollie's, you can get some really good stuff for the money. All right, I was at Rural King a few weeks before I was shooting this video, and they had insulated windproof parkas on sale after season clearance for $30. All sizes, racks of them, hundreds of them, $30. Now, I have coats today that are better than that, but when I first started hunting, that was better than everything I had for years, and I spent more money than that on inferior stuff from big box stores just trying to get something. And Sam's Club, same way. Every year, at least where I live, they usually get some hunting gear in, they get some pants, they'll get some bibs, they'll get a couple jackets, a couple coats, and for what they cost, you can't beat it. 30, 40, 50 dollars for really good stuff. Now it's not as good as your 500 dollars Sitka coat, but for 40 bucks, it can get you out there and hunting for a few years, and then you can can always decide to upgrade down the road. Number four reason you should not buy Sitka gear is that you did not hit the thumbs up button on this video. Guys, that's right, it is proven that everybody that buys Sitka and has not clicked the like button is making a mistake. No, but all seriousness, nobody is sponsoring this video, certainly not Sitka, but I'd ask you please support the channel, hit the thumbs up button. If you like gear reviews, field tests, kicking the tires on assumptions and videos like this, why don't you hit subscribe as well. Now the real fourth reason why you shouldn't buy Sitka gear is because you don't want to be one of them. Uh-oh. I said, you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Uh, it sounded like, a, sounded like a sacred cow tipping over. Oh yeah, we're getting into some territory here that people aren't comfortable with. There's a lot of people that hate people that wear Sitka gear, that hate the company Sitka, then all the other various companies that are in the same area, they hate them. All right, they're just against them. They don't want to be one of them. They don't want to be a yuppie. They don't want to be one of those Sitka guys. And they draw up those stereotypes that I told you before about people being out in the woods and having no idea what they're doing and messing up other people's hunts, but they're decked out in Sitka gear. 
Now, here's the first thing about that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense for people to be out spending lots of money on gear and they don't know what they're doing, all right? But that's a dumb person, all right? How does that make the company bad? It doesn't make sense, all right? There's, a, there's something going on there bigger than that. And what it really is, guys, is pride, jealousy, and envy. They wish they had the Sitka gear, but they don't have the money for it, or they don't have the priority level to find the money for it over time. And they're jealous or envious of the people that do, and they think that if they can't have Sitka gear, nobody should have Sitka gear. Now guys, the Bible says that envy rots the bones. Okay, that hurts you for thinking and feeling like that. It doesn't hurt anybody else. It doesn't hurt any company. It is damaging inside for us. I've heard people go as far as to say, well, you know what? The only reason they make this gear is because people keep buying it. And if we'd stop buying it, then Sitco would stop making it. We'd finally get rid of this. What sense does that make? Now think about it, break that down for a minute, all right? If we stop buying it and the company goes out of business, who does that help? Okay, that doesn't help you. That doesn't help the hunter. Some people think like the price of gear would go down if Sitka wasn't there. Guys, it doesn't work that way. That is not economics. If Sitka gear went away tomorrow, you know what would happen? The price of hunting gear would go up. Why? Because competition keeps prices down. Sitka is competing with a bunch of other brands. And because of that, everybody has to compete on price. And there's a bunch of cheaper brands that are only cheaper because that is their way into the market to say, hey, we're almost as good as Sitka, but we're a lot cheaper than Sitka. Well, if there is no Sitka, then just raise their price up and they say, hey, this is us. We're good. And if that were to happen, it would hurt everybody. It, it doesn't make any sense to think like that, guys. But if we'll be honest with ourselves, we will recognize that what other people wear into the woods does not affect us in what we do or how we hunt. It makes no sense to care or even notice what other people are wearing. You wear what you want to wear. Number five reason that you should not buy Sitka gear. You like to be cold, wet, or uncomfortable. You somehow find it more manly, or womanly as the case may be. You might think, George, are you joking? Only sort of. There are a lot of guys out there, and in their mind, the only way to hunt is to get out there with, with a buffalo hide from a buffalo that you shot and you skinned and you tanned and you knitted into some kind of a buffalo romper. Go out into the woods with your longbow that you carved from a fallen tree branch and go after your game, and that's the only way to hunt. Well, hey, if you want to do that and hunt with your buffalo hide and your carved bow, you go for it. More power to you. That is awesome. But that's not what I'm going to do. All right. Sitka gear, and it's not just Sitka. Sitka is not the best or the highest level brand out there. All right. They're the biggest. They're maybe the most well known, but there's lots of other companies. First Light, I think, makes some pieces of gear that are just as good or better than Sitka. Cabela's makes some pieces of gear that, for the dollars, I think are just as good as Sitka gear is. And there's lots of other quality brands out there that are in the same space. Some of them make better this, some of them make better that, depends on what speciality it is. You know, Sitka gear does not make the best of everything, especially socks. They don't make any socks. And I wanna know why Sitka gear, why no socks? But no, for real, this gear exists because it keeps you warm, it keeps you dry, it keeps you comfortable. That's why it's out there. That's that's why people like it. That's why people shell out the cash for it. Maybe some buy it just because of the brand name and they want to have a certain image. But the majority of the time, people are buying it because it's quality gear. And here's the thing that blows my mind, okay? You go out there with your Buffalo Hide Romper. That costs way more than Sitka gear. If you were going to buy that Buffalo Hide or make it and sell it, you're talking about way more than an entire outfit of Sitka gear. Those things can go for thousands of dollars. So it's completely, people aren't even thinking in their brain, all right? You 
want quality gear that'll keep you warm and dry and comfortable in the harshest of conditions, you are going to pay for it. Now, there are ways to get out there and save money and come in at it on the cheap, like get some gear from Rural King and, and Sam's Club and wherever. You can do that, but the Sitka gear is still going to have an edge over that gear. The First Light gear, the Cabela's gear, is still going to have an edge because it's made with different materials to different tolerances. It's not going to be two or three times better, but it's still going to be better. And you go out there with your buffalo hide and do whatever you want to do, that is not any cheaper. It's just a skewed way of thinking about this, guys. So the bottom line is this, all right? If you have the experience to know what you want, if you've got the time put in to know under what conditions that would help you, if you've got the budget and the resources to go after it, there is no reason on the planet why you should not buy quality gear. But at the same time, you don't need to be limited by any brand, any gear, or any dollar value. You can find a way even on the lowest budget. But if you're there and you have the ability, Sitka and First Light and Cabela's and others can absolutely be excellent choices. But there's a lot of people buying this gear that should not be buying it. All right, there's a lot of people. They're not in the right place. They're not making good use out of it. And you see it all the time. People buy the gear in uh, August, and then a couple years later, you see them selling it, new with tags, never used it, never took it into the woods, wore it one time, realized, oh, I shouldn't have bought this. And the reason why I made this video, guys, is one, I want to help people save money. I want to help people make realistic purchasing decisions, but at the same time, same time, I want you to realize that it doesn't matter what you wear. If you've got the resources and you've got the experience to get high-end, high-dollar gear, good for you. All right, it can absolutely be a benefit. There's no reason why you shouldn't. But I hate it when people save up for weeks and months and longer to buy something, only to realize I don't have any use for this, or this doesn't really fit me and what I do and the way that I hunt. And then boom, they're out that money and they try selling it for pennies on the dollar. That is what I'm trying to avoid. But I'm also a big fan of testing gear to find out how does it really work? How can we numerically and empirically test it to see if we're getting our money's worth? Which is why I did this video right here testing some of the best base layers on the market and this one right here testing some of the best socks on the market. And yeah, Sika, I want to know why don't you make any socks? But guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.